So if we stretch my left uh, pec, my left chest muscles, they actually blend in with my abdominal muscles here. And you can see there's a, a crease in my t-shirt as I do this. So if I were to take this hand back, I'm going to get a stretch through here. But if I take a step forward with my left leg and take this hand back, I'm going to get an even bigger stretch. Okay? So that's the move we want to do. We want to go left leg forward and then back. But there's going to be a slightly different, um, a different movement with the feet here. You want to go left leg forward, then you're going to take your left leg slightly behind the right leg. This is called a pivot. We're pivoting on the right foot. So from the side, it looks like this. The left leg comes forward and the left leg comes back, but you're bending the left knee slightly. And the reason you're bending it is to get a hamstring stretch on the right hand side. And the way you do that is to take both hands down towards your shin or ankle or foot and lift up the toes slightly. Okay, so we're going to start with the pivot and then we're going to bring in the hands. So left leg goes forward, left leg comes back, hands down towards your shin. Left leg goes forward, left leg back, hands down towards the shin. This one we're going to take the left hand out, palm up towards the ceiling and then both hands back. So left hand comes out, we're really stretching through that left chest, down to the abdominals, down through to the right hip, and getting the hamstring as you step back. As you step back, you feel a, um, a little pull up towards your buttocks, keeping the arch of your lower back uh, rounded. Okay, just a couple more here. That's it, seven. And eight, good, we're gonna change sides. Let's get the, uh, the feet working first. So, right foot goes forward, right foot comes back. Right foot goes forward, right foot comes back. Okay, we're gonna bring the hands in. So, right hand goes back, both hands go down to the shin. Right hand comes back, both hands come down to the shin. Try and spread your fingers when you do this, and look at your hand as well. And looking at the act of looking at your hand will get a better rotation to your upper back. If you take a bigger step forward, you get more of a stretch on your opposite side hip. And that's what we're aiming to do. We're really aiming to loosen up those hips, get the back going. Okay, two more here. One, two. Excellent. Okay, from our, we're going to work down the body from the journey down. We've done our pecs, and now we're going to move into the abdominal muscles. The abdominals go from the ribs down to the pubic bone. So it's going to be a similar lunge and step back, so a similar um, pivot that we've just been doing, but the arms are going to be slightly different. All right, so we'll go through the arms, take the left leg forward as far as you can go, feel a little stretch into the right hip, and the position I'm in is this. Then you're going to take both hands up, push them towards the ceiling. The act of pushing them towards the ceiling will stretch those abdominal muscles. Try not to lean backwards too much. If you lean backwards, you may feel a pinch into your lower back. Now, as the hands are up as far as they can go, you lean to the left side, and that's going to stretch the right-hand side of my abdominals a little bit more than my left-hand side. Okay, as you come back from there, I want you to take the foot straight back, and again, take both hands down towards your ankle. But this time, I want to take your right hand towards the ceiling, so you get a little bit of a twist through the pelvis, and that stimulates the hamstrings in a different way. Okay, so what that's going to look like is you step forward, both hands go up, leaning to the left, come back, Left hand goes down to your ankle, right hand goes up towards the ceiling. So we're just going to go ahead and do eight of those. That counts as one. It's four. Get the other leg going, so the right foot's going to go forwards and backwards. Take a big step forward with the right foot, both hands go up towards the ceiling, lean to the right, feel that stretch through the hip and the abdominals. Come back, take the right hand down towards your left ankle, and left hand up towards the ceiling. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do eight of those. I'm going to turn to the side so you can, get a, you can see what's going on with my hips. Lunging forward, both hands up, lean to the right, and back. Four, keep going. One more. Good. For those of you who don't feel a stretch through your abdominals there, putting a small dumbbell in both hands, so you hold a dumbbell in both hands, 
and just going up like this, the actual momentum of the dumbbell is going to want to take it way over behind you, and so your dumbbells are actually going to become activated to slow down the momentum of the dumbbell, and that's going to switch them on. It's going to be a great exercise for dumbbells. Uh, sorry, for the, for the abdominals with the dumbbell. All right, moving on. We've done the pecs, we've done the, the abdominals. We're going to get right down now into the psoas muscle. And so with this one, we're going to, uh, with the pivot, we're going to do a slightly different step back. So the pivot is going to be stepping forward with the left leg, feeling a stretch hopefully through the psoas, which is one of the hip flexors here, stepping back the middle, but then back out to 45 degrees. And as you come out to 45 degrees, you're going to take your left hand down towards your uh, right ankle, and then the left hand, so the right hand up towards the ceiling. Okay, when you step forward, the hands are going to be right hand up. So your left leg's forward, right hand's up. Left hand goes all the way back. It's as though you're kind of opening yourself up through your chest. And then as you step back, you kind of reverse your hands. Left hand goes down towards your ankle, right hand goes up. Remember coming out at 45 degrees though. Okay, let's go with straight away with eight of these. So left foot forward, right hand goes up, left hand goes back. Just come back to about 45 degrees. Left hand down towards your ankle. Back, 45 degrees. And you're just getting a slightly different stretch through this back at 45 degrees. It's like you're getting more of the hamstrings and adductors at the same time. Okay, one more. Relax there. Straight onto the other side. So the right foot's going forward, the left hand goes up towards the ceiling, right hand palm up, goes all the way around to the right, feeling a big stretch through your abdominals, down through to your hips. Foot comes back, then out at 45 degrees, bending that right knee, hand goes down towards the right ankle, left hand goes up towards the ceiling. Okay, right foot forward, we're going for eight of these. Right foot up, left hand, take the right hand back, 45 degrees. Good, one. Two, three. You can look at your hands, it goes round to the right as well. Four, five, and that foot comes out at 45 degrees. Six, seven, eight, and relax there. So, hopefully, by now you're feeling a bit warmer, hips feeling a little bit looser, upper body feeling a bit more mobile.